Hey guys! My name is Ankita. My name is Anika. And we are the Dancing Divas. Or should I say Experimenting Divas? You guessed it right again. We are back with another interesting science activity. Today, we are going to build an electric circuit. Hope you all have watched our red cabbage pH indicator experiment. If you haven't yet, we will be putting the link in the description below. Have you ever wondered how all our home appliances work on the push of a button? This is possible due to the electricity that flows through the electric circuits. Let's see what are electric circuits. Electric circuits are closed paths through which electric current flows. An electric circuit is a setup that comprises of a power source, an electric load, electric wire, and a switch. A power source is the energy provider in a circuit, like a battery. The electric load is the power consumer in a circuit. It can be a light, fan, motor, or any other electrical appliance. Switch controls the flow of electric current in the circuit. Wires connect all the components of the circuit and carries electric current throughout the circuit. Let's get started with building a simple circuit to light up an electric bulb. Today, we will be using an LED. LED stands for Light Emitting Diode. Things we will need are a lithium battery, well, you can use any battery you want, but today we are using a lithium battery of 3 volts. Wires. Few connectors for the wires. A switch. And an LED, which is our load. Now, let's draw the diagram of the electric circuit and label the components. The circuit is open because it's not connected right now. Now that we're done drawing the diagram, let's arrange all the components around the schematic diagram. We have already made wire connectors yes, uh, before shooting the video because this will take a lot of time and therefore saves us some time because we already made it. The LED, unlike bulbs, has polarity so you have to make sure you connect the positive terminal of the bulb to the positive terminal of the battery and the negative end to the negative end of the battery well how will you find that out positive end always is long and the negative is always short in case these are both cut and both of them are of the same length you another way to find out is try to find the cut beside the lead on the plastic and that side will be our negative terminal. In this circuit we have used two colors red and black. Red is connected to the positive side of the LED and black is connected to the negative side of the LED. Now let's connect them. Yes. On this side. Then we have this. 
here, right? Mm, yes, there. Yeah, you can Wait, turn it on now. Yes. Let's see. Mm. When we turn on the switch, the LED glows. The circuit is now called a closed circuit. Current only flows through a closed circuit. As a result, we see the LED glowing. S switching off the switch will turn off the flow of current and you see the LED stops glowing. And hence, this circuit is now called an open circuit. Switches come in a variety of forms, depending on the mechanism used to open and close a circuit. Some of them can be sensor driven, for example, lights turn on as soon as we enter a room. A switch can also be voice activated just like the ones that are used with Alexa. But the switch we have used today is called as a mechanical switch. Now. Let's replace LED with a buzzer to see how the circuit works with different electric loads. Ankita, will you help me remove this? Yeah. And connect the buzzer? Yes. Thanks. Now, I'll just pass the buzzer to you. Yeah. Here we go. Oh my God. Nervous about how this will turn out. Hope it's not. Okay. Yes. Have to check the result. Mm -hmm. Will now, you do the honors? Yes, I will. Ooh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yes, I can turn it off now. Okay. <gasps> that was annoying. Okay, it does. <laughs> it does work. You got that. Got that. <laughs> oh my. I don't want this buzzer anymore. Now let's replace this with a motor to see how that works. Ooh. How about I switch on? Yeah, but not this one. Yeah, I won't switch that on. That's too annoying. Carry wow. this up so that we can check how it works. Carry huh. this up. Good idea. Angita, don't touch it. It might hurt you. Wow. It makes a sound, but it's not that annoying. It looks so beautiful. Wait, I'll just it's... switch it off. Now, let's play a fun game. Let's see how we can build a fun game using this circuit by replacing just some of these components. Let's start by replacing the motor with the buzzer. Now, let's replace the switch with the fun part. We have made this with aluminum wire. First, let's tape it to make sure it's stable. Then we remove these wires. Can you help me? Yes. Here you go. Thank you. Now, Anika, explain the rules. The rules of this game is to, uh, to go all the way to the other end without touching this. If you touch this, a buzz sound will come. So, don't touch these wires. If you touch them, you will absolutely lose your turn. Then the other player has to play. <laughs> Let's play rock, paper, scissors to find out who will play this fun game? Winner or loser? Winner. Sure? Yes! Wait, wait! Loser, loser. 
Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh my gosh, you have to do it. You have to lose. Win, 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 Lose, 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 lose. I said win first. Ah, but you somehow made me lose. So lose, 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 lose. Oh, that's it. Done, oh done. My gosh. End. Done. <gasps> that was fun. Hope you all enjoyed this video. We will be back with more interesting science activities soon. Don't forget to subscribe like and share and don't forget to smash that notification button to get more updates keep watching bye let's continue Ooh. Annika my chance not yours yeah, yeah. you're making me lose oh my gosh my chance